so far, here is what virologists have determined. Francisco began, surrounded by everyone in the camp, while seated in the dining area and sipping on a cup of coffee. St. Mary's virus is a zoonotic disease. That is, a disease that is passed from animal to human. We believe it came from an evolved animal virus strain, winding up in humans as some kind of mutated contagion. It is clear that a single bite from an infected human, no matter how small, is enough to transmit the virus. The virus is made of molecular components so tiny that they are absorbed within the bloodstream just minutes after a bite. The time of infection varies depending on the size, age, and health of the individual. That first bite causes what we call a prion disease. That means it sends dead proteins into the body that quickly invade the brain and turn it into mush, destroying the frontal lobe and the cerebrum, much like mad cow disease. The cerebrum? Alfred asked. Ain't that the region of the brain responsible for balance? Correct, Francisco said. That is why the fleshers can't walk straight, walk fast, or run, stumbling and moving along sluggishly is the best they can do. I see you paid attention in biology class, Alfred. No, Alfred said. I paid attention in alcohol rehab classes. I've been to one too many of them. The cerebrum gets affected when you drink too much, too. That's why drunk people can barely hold themselves together. There were some laughs from the audience. You see, Francisco continued, fleshers are basically brain damaged. That's why they can't do complex things like open doors or climb ladders. If they are brain dead or damaged, why are they moving around? I asked. Because there is one small but very important part of their brains that is rapidly and categorically enhanced by the virus, Francisco said. The hypothalamus. What does that control? Maria asked. Hunger. 